the of God. I don't know everything, but there are some things I have known that you can't expose yourself to the Holy Ghost and then you remain the same. And this is the spirit who comes to lift burdens from the lives of men. And where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. And listen, I'm saying this from the spirit of God. A great reward is waiting for you. Waiting for you. I this evening, we glorify your name, O oh God. We appreciate you doing, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We take this time to welcome you once again this evening service as we worship the King. I request you to stand up on your feet wherever you are. Can I just lift up your hands as we worship him. His word and his mighty. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, withholding nothing. Holding nothing, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, with holding nothing, with holding nothing. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, with holding nothing, with holding nothing. I surrender. I surrender all. To you, everything, everything I give to you, I surrender, I surrender all to you, everything, everything I give with holding nothing. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Mm. Oh, everything I give. To you, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, with holding nothing, with holding nothing, I surrender. Everything I 
give to you My life is not my own To you I belong I give myself I give myself to you My life is not my own To you I belong I give myself I give myself to you My life is not my own To you I belong I give myself I give myself to you I surrender all to you Everything I surrender all to you Everything I give to you With holding nothing, holding nothing With holding nothing, with holding nothing Yes, Lord, we surrender everything to you, O oh God. We surrender everything to you, O oh God. We surrender everything to you, Daddy. surrender tonight oh God to you we surrender everything to you Jesus everything we give back to you Lord you are the lilies of the valley you are the king of our kings you are the Lord of the Lord oh Lord of our mother Oh, my we bless you jesus we bless you jesus we thank you lord we worship you jesus we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bwana Mungu, na changa, Jesus leave you. Wewe ni mkuu sana. Wewe ni wajabu. Wewe ni wajabu, Bwana. Nashanga kabisa Niki fiki Rijinsi ulivyo Nyota nguru Movi utu vyote pia Vi umwa vyo Kwa uwezo wako Wana mungu 
Nashanga kabisa Niki fikiri Jinsi ulivyo Nyota ngurumu Vitu vyote pie Viumbwa vyo Kwa uwezo wako Nikitembea Kote duniani Ndege huimbo Na usikia Milima hu Pendeza macho sana Upepona Oh, furahia Roho yangu Nai kuimie Jinsi wewe Ulivyo mko Roho yangu Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands, open your mouth, magnify Jesus, glorify the Lord. There is no one like Him. There is no one like Him. He's alive. Jesus, thank you for your spirit, for your blessing for your goodness speak to us allow your truth oh Jesus to have room in our hearts we focus on you we thank you in Jesus name we pray amen glory to God I want to take a few minutes to conclude meditating on this book of Joshua chapter 1 we are in verse 7 the Bible says only be thou strong and very courageous my living Bible Joshua chapter 1 verse 7 the word of God says you need only to be strong and courageous God was speaking directly to Joshua and you see your ability to hear the voice of God that ability to hear the voice of God is everything that you need because the only way to know the times and the seasons of your life is when you hear the voice of God because that voice will tell you where you stand what is demanded of you and where you are supposed to go this was after the death of Moses and so great responsibility and assignment was in the hands of Joshua and God came to speak to him to empower him to put wisdom knowledge and understanding in him 
because he was to go forward and uh, cause these people to inherit the land according to Joshua chapter 1 verse 6 the Bible says be strong verse 6 be strong and of a good courage for unto these people thou shalt divide for an inheritance the land he was to be empowered by God himself to cause these people to inherit their possession that is why as I proceed with the sharing I want you to allow God to empower you also that you may get a hold of that which God has promised you verse 8 now this is one of the secrets that though known men and the women of our time they don't practice it Joshua chapter 1 the Bible says this book of the law, this book, think about it. Joshua was to fight physical battles. He was to face nations that were mightier and stronger than the nation of Israel. But God never gave him weapons like machine guns. He, he was given a book, just a book. The Bible says this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. It looks very simple. If I were God, for example, I could have given Joshua other weapons of war that he may go and combat in battles with the other nations but the God of all wisdom knows what you need the God of all understanding and knowledge he knows exact what you need in this life this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth it means you are supposed to keep speaking declaring the things that are made known to you by the Spirit of God. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate, meditate, to ponder, to think. My amplified, my, my New Living Translation here says, it says, constantly constantly remind the people about these laws and yourself must think about them every day and every night you keep on thinking you keep on meditating if you want to see divine prosperity and success Something must happen in your mentality. Something must happen in your mind. The word of God in Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7. Proverbs 23 verse 7. The word of God says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. There is no way you can be different from the way you think this book of the law it is not supposed to depart from your mouth i know in the time of challenge in the time of hunger in the time of scarcity something happens in our lives and we don't think straight we don't think properly but if you want to see the hand of god coming upon your life if you want the wisdom, the knowledge, and the grace of God to be channeled through you, meditation, meditation is the key. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but meditate therein day and night. Why? 
that thou mayest observe to do. You see, you can't be a doer of the word if you are not given to meditation of it. It must become part of your life for it to flow freely through your life. John chapter 1 verse 1 In the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. Verse 14 The Bible says and the word became, the word became flesh. God's word can be part of your life. You are thinking the patterns of your reasoning, they can be they can be formed by the word of God and you become unstoppable because the word of God is not just the word. There is life in the word. There is glory of God in the word. There is anointing in it. And so when you meditate the spirit in the word gets into your life. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate. Now, the scripture, one of the scriptures I love quoting is First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 15. Anybody who desires progress must come down and get a hold of the key of meditation. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 15. The Bible says meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly unto them. You think upon it until you yield to what you are thinking about. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly unto them and thy profiting, thy progress may appear to all. If you want to be impactful, you remain at the cutting edge in whatever you are doing. Meditation. And this is something you are supposed to do both day and night. In the night seasons, that is the time you are supposed to allow your spirit to become awake and you begin to think, you begin to, to chew the word of God in the night. Especially in the night seasons. Isaiah chapter 26. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 9. The Bible says, With my soul, with my soul, have I desired thee in the night. With my soul, have I desired thee in the night. Yeah, With my spirit within me, have, will I seek the alley? So when you are given to meditation, you step easily into seasons and the times of God. Joshua, this book is not supposed to, uh, to leave your mouth. The reason we are so weak in our time, we are not realizing breakthroughs and the great accomplishments in the kingdom it is because we have neglected the book it is called the bible you see books are there so many books are written but there is no book that will ever be compared with the bible this book of the law so joshua is told that you may observe to do. You observe to do according to all that is written therein. You can't be a doer of God's word 
if you are not wholly given to meditation. The Bible says, for then, for then, thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Because of meditation, you don't wait for God to make ways for you. I know that is a very good song we usually sing that God shall make a way for us. But listen, when you go back to the scripture, you realize God will not just make a way for you. It is you to make the way after meditation. God will show you what to do and then you make your way. You make it. You make it. You make your way prosperous and then thou shall have good success. So, supernatural prosperity, supernatural living is impossible if you are not given to thinking, given to meditation. And not just meditation, but after meditating, you begin to practice. You begin to put into action the things that you have been meditating. That is one of the things that are lacking, lacking in the body of Christ, even in our time. Because we think things that are away from the truth and we expect God to move through our lives. Romans chapter 12, God's word says in verse 2, Romans chapter 12 verse 2, it says, and be not conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to this world. But be ye transformed. Transformed by the renewing of your mind. It is the time of meditation. Deep study of the scriptures that you get your mind renewed and when your mind is renewed the bible says that you may prove that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and a perfect will of god so by neglecting the book you are robbing yourself so much and then your destiny is at stake. You need to allow God to pass through your life by meditation. Joshua was a very young man. As I said, he was very young. But the responsibility was very great. And these are the secrets of empowerment. Secrets of empowerment you renew your mind and the God will find a vessel through which he can touch the whole world. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 now. Verse 9 God is speaking to him. You know what surprises me? Joshua was not taught to pray a lot. He was not taught how to go and fight by God. He was given a book by which to live by. Men and women of God listening to me, I want you to go back to the book called the Bible and swallow the book. I remember a prophet called Ezekiel. He was asked, what do you see, thou son of man? And they said, I can see a scroll. Then he was told, you swallow the scroll. Then go to the house of Israel and prophesy to them. I believe there are dimensions of power, dimensions of grace and wisdom that we will never attain unto without 
the discipline of meditation. These are the times when the Spirit of God finds time to speak to our spirits, to speak to our minds. This is the time God empowers you with His grace. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 have not I commanded thee then he says be strong be strong and of good courage another version says and that is the living bible it says you banish fear and doubt you make sure that there is no room for fear in your life and there is no room for doubt God wants to accomplish a lot through your life but meditation will give God room to work through your mind I'm so blessed to know that the key of meditation is one of the lost keys in our time we are so busy with the coming of the internet technology we have no time to settle down and listen to what the Spirit of God is saying. I am calling you back to the art of meditation and the good hand of God will rest upon your life and you will turn your, your world around by the power of God. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 have not I commanded thee be strong and of good courage be not afraid neither be thou dismayed God made sure that there was no room of fear and doubt in the heart of Joshua that is why he came directly to him to tell him, My servant Moses is dead. This is your time to arise, Joshua. And I assure you, no man shall be able to stand before thee all the days of your life. I want to encourage somebody listening to me that God wants to accomplish a lot through you. But this will happen when you pay attention to everything that he tells you to speak or anything he commands you to do. Have I not commanded you be strong? And the kind of strength I'm talking about here, it is not natural strength. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 the word of God says finally brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mighty he wants you to be strong and this is supernatural thing and the price must be paid by you to spend quality time with God and you tell him Jehovah here I am take over my mind my body my spirit and my soul be strong Joshua neither be thou dismayed for the Lord Joshua chapter 1 chapter 1 verse 9 for the Lord thy God for the Lord thy God God is with thee, is with thee, wheresoever thou goest. As I conclude, God assured Joshua of his presence. He told him, everywhere you will ever go from today, I will be with you. My grace will be with you. My power and my might shall be available for you to use. And the Joshua, I believe this. And the Joshua believed 
in every word that God was speaking to him. And I want you to believe this together with me. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What you need now is to appropriate the reality of every word that God has ever released into your life. Joshua was not an angel. He was a man like you. But after he heard from God, he believed, he accepted responsibility. And that is why immediately after God has spoken to him in verse 9. This man moved quickly to cause the children of Israel to inherit the land. There is nothing that is called impossible when you allow God and his word to have room in your life. Before I conclude, I want to read something very important you are supposed to keep with you in the book of Hebrews. You see, one thing is common with all these men and women who did exploits in the kingdom. And that is faith. So Hebrews chapter 11, God's word says something concerning Joshua. I want to read it that God may take it and put it in your spirit and your life will never be the same again. The Bible says in verse 30 Hebrews chapter 11 verse 30 it says by faith the walls of Jericho fell down by faith by faith by faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days Joshua this man of God allowed the spirit of faith to work through him to bring down all the barriers and, and limitations that were put ahead of him. So where you are now, I want you to believe God with me for the impartation of the spirit of faith and every wall of limitation, demonic limitations and the human oppositions, they are going to fall Faith is a spirit, is a spiritual force that can never be stopped by anything because it is God who is behind the spirit of faith. Blessed Father, we give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Somebody, somewhere, wherever you are, in this service, lift up your voice, lift up your hands, and begin to magnify the God of the Bible. Ask God for this grace that, the, that this book of the law shall never depart out of your mouth. You need to know God is committed to do exploits through your life. We give you the glory. We give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, we honor oh, you. Thank you, mighty Father. We give you Thank glory, Lord. Lord. You are wonderful, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Yes, 
Lord. As we honor you, the spirit of faith. We give you glory, The spirit of courage. As we honor you, the spirit of boldness to come upon us today. Give us the grace. You are one as we honor you, Lord. As we honor you. Give you glory, Lord. As we thank you, mighty God. presence of God is upon us. We believe right now wherever you are, you are allowing the Spirit of God to come upon your life. There is no wall that faith cannot bring down. There is no power of darkness that the light of God's word cannot penetrate. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We honor you, Son of God. From the rising of the sun, somebody worship the Lord. Don't get tired, just worship Him. Thank you, Lord. Listen, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you for your presence. Empower us today the way you empowered Joshua to lead your people into victory. Lead us from this moment and take us to higher levels of glory, higher levels of faith, authority and dominion than ever before. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. As we, as we always do in our services, we believe in giving we believe in tithing. We believe in giving to honor God. Our information is there. You can go to your Mpesa, you go to Liban Mpesa, buy goods and services. Our till number is there for the church. 84 16 19. Our services on Sunday, our first service will be exact at 9 a.m. in the morning. Our second service will be exact at noon. As we give, I want us to worship the Lord for a minute or two. God is good. Thank you, Jesus.
worthy to be praised. Oh, you are wonderful, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are wonderful. You are worthy to be praised. Jesus, we love you, Lord. Hey, we baba, hey baba, hey baba, poke asifa. Hey baba, hey baba, hey baba, poke asifa. Hey baba, wa mingunu we. E baba poke asifa E baba E baba E baba poke asifa Twakuinua wewe Mungu ajabu E baba poke asifa E baba E baba E baba poke Ewe bwana wa mabwana Mungu wa miungu he baba pokea sifa baba he baba he baba he baba pokea wa pokea sifa wana pokea sifa baba pokea sifa Baba poke asifa Wewe ni Mungu wa miungu Wewe ni Bwana wa mabwana Ewe poke asifa Baba poke asifa Bwana poke asifa Bwana e baba Baba poke asifa Baba poke asifa Wewe ni bwana wa mabwana Wewe ni Mungu wa miungu poke asifa Haleluya Asante bwana Yesu Thank you Jesus The word of God I don't know everything but there are some things I have known that you can't expose yourself to the Holy Ghost and then you remain the same. And this is the spirit who comes to lift burdens from the lives of men. And where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. And listen, I'm saying this from the Spirit of God. A great reward is waiting for you. Waiting for you. 